Welcome back to our look back at my dirtiest encounters with the animal kingdom. When they told me not long ago that I was going to go to Texas to do a story on cow palpation, I thought, what could possibly be dirty about petting a cow? Then I met a little man in a great big hat who gave me a long plastic glove and squirted lube on me. After that, it started to get weird. All right. And then you just kind of make it a little cone like this. Making a cone and going in. And going in. People often say to me, Mike, what's it feel like to reach your arm inside a cow's bottom? You got to push a little. You got to push pretty hard. And I say, well, imagine a needle. Now imagine the eye of the needle. Now imagine threading that needle with a sausage. Something like that. I'm going from left to right and, and pushing in. Her reproductive tract is right, should be right below your hand. About that long, and then it's going to kind of split off, and you're going to have one horn this way, one horn this way. Horns? Well, it's a uterine horn. Oh. It's almost as though the cow doesn't like my arm inside her they do. They do squeeze an awful lot. This particular cow is not pregnant. So this was like a surprise. My director wants me to say something insightful here. I got nothing. Good. This is an unpregnant cow. Right. Is there a better word than unpregnant? Open. Open. What's the, the, the term? The not gestation is nine months. She's real pregnant. Yeah. I feel ears, I feel a little head. Oh, steady, steady. Hold on a second. You gonna do it? Oh, dear. I may have gone in the wrong hole. Is everything gonna be all right? It should be all right. Well, no wonder she, she was so upset with me. Good grief, she's about to have a baby. Well, she's probably about uh, seven months. Movement, too. Yeah. Nibbling. Yeah. Little calf nibbling me. It's kind of a messy job, but... You think? Uh, yeah. You're pretty clean for palpating cows. We've all had days that start out weird and just get weirder. And normally on days like that, there's a moment where you say to yourself, how could things get any weirder than this? Well, on that particular day, I had that particular moment. And then the little man in the great big white hat pulled out a great big black box. Gosh, what could be in the box? What in the world is this? This is an electroid jack. It's a four. It's electroid ejaculator that we're going to use to collect the semen on this bull. Oh, I'm sorry. It sounded like you said an, an electro jack. An electro ejaculator, yes. What the hell? <laughs> it looks like a spaceship. Yeah, that's what it's going to feel like to that bull. Oh dear. It's like a tackle box. And from what we're going to do is very. It's, it's like a tackle box from Amsterdam. So there I was, assisting this diminutive little cowboy in covering something that looked like the Hindenburg with generous handfuls of lubricant with the obvious intention of pushing the entire apparatus into a bull's yeah, bottom. Let's go right on in. Doesn't look like he dislikes it. No. I'd like to tell you what was going through my mind at that exact moment, but I can't. Psychologists call it a defense mechanism, the body's way of protecting itself from a scene or image that could result in long-term shock or trauma. I've heard of a cowpoke, but this is ridiculous. On this machine, we can do it automatically, where it's set at a certain time, or we can turn it over to manual, and then we just move this dial back and forth. Oh, when you say manually, right here. you mean from there? From here, yes. Thank God, huh? There was, some, there was a serious miscommunication oh, between uh, us uh, there, uh, Steve. Uh, uh. I mean, he looks camera shy to me. He not giving us a direction today, but the semen sample we did get from him looked good. And uh, he has been with cows, and he did do a good job breeding cows, so. Ultimately disappointing. I guess we can remove the, uh, the probe. Yes, sir. We can All take right. that out. Don't worry about it, 99. Happens to the best of us. If you just tuned in and you're wondering what in the world you just watched, let me assure you that everything in that story was a legitimate and legal example of cutting edge animal husbandry. Here in the modern age, bulls and cows make calves that way. And I was just thrilled to be able to stop by and lend them both a hand. When we come back, you got questions, I got answers.